All students come inside, please, quickly. So we continue with our weekly uh, reminders on the Quran. And we talked so far, all sisters, sisters, the female students, quickly please come inside. Boys, leave the chairs, come to the front, come to the front. Leave the sisters there. Sisters, be there on that line. We talked about, A'udhu Billahi min ash rajim Which means what? I seek refuge, I seek protection of Allah. I seek Allah's protection from the expelled, from the outcast, shaitan. So whenever you want to recite the Quran, whether from the beginning or the, the middle or anywhere or any ayah, you start with what? A'udhu billahi min ash rajim Then we talked about Bismillahi rahman rahim which means what? Bismillahi rahman rahim means what? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. What does it mean in the name of Allah? Means what, ya sister? Means I start my recitation with the name of Allah, seeking the blessings of Allah, seeking the help of Allah. Do you understand when you say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim what it means? And we, I give you a question. I'm gonna give a prize to the one who gives the answer. I said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is mentioned in the beginning of every single surah in the Quran. And we have 114 surah, right? But well, there's one surah that doesn't have Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the beginning, which is Surah At-Tawbah, chapter number nine. Still, we have in the Quran for 114 times Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How does that work? Huh? Who knows? Saeed? Um, it's optional. It's optional? No. In the beginning of the surah, it's not optional. Yasir. Because when the bird came to him, it had came to who? Came to Sulaiman. Who Sulaiman? Prophet. Ah, uh, Prophet Sulaiman, Sayyiduna Sulaiman, alayhi salam. Uh huh. Came with a piece of paper that says Bismillah. Ah, oh, very good. There's surah, a surah in the Quran, which is which surah? Who knows? Huh? No, no, no. The surah that has two Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One in the beginning and one in the middle. Who? Huh? An-Naml. Surah. Namil. So in that surah there is an ayah when uh, the bird took the letter of Sayyidina Sulaiman to the queen. to the queen of Sheba. Uh, it says, "Innahu min Sulaiman." This letter is from Sulaiman, and it is in the name of Allah. It is "Innahu Bismillahi Rahman Rahim." Got it? Okay, I'll give you the prize when we do. So. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, when do we read it? When do we say it? In the beginning of every surah, when we read the surah from the beginning. What if we want to read the surah from the middle? What do we say? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. And it's optional to say with A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Got it? Now when you move from one surah to another surah, do you say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim or Bismillah? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Does Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim apply only to the Quran? Do we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim only when we want to recite the Quran? Everything, everything that is good, everything you want to do, you seek Allah's blessings, you say Bismillah. You eat in the name of Allah. You drink in the name of Allah. You write in the name of Allah. You read in the name of Allah. What is the very first ayah that was revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Iqra, which means what? Read. What's the, the rest of the ayah? Read in the name of your Lord who created. So read in the name of your Lord. I Someone has an email. I They have a nice signature at the end of the email. They say, write in the name of your Lord. Right? So not only read in the name of your Lord. Also write in the name of your Lord. Speak in the name of your Lord. Eat in the name of Allah. When you eat, you say Bismillah. When you drink, you say Bismillah, right? When you enter the masjid, you say Bismillah. When you enter your house, you say Bismillah. So always use the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek Allah's blessings and do things in the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So always remember, everything you do, we said last time, 
you started with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is most gracious, most loving, most merciful. This means we said two things. You're seeking Allah's blessings because when you mention his name on the thing that you're doing, this will give it blessings, right? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is the most blessed name, right or no? Yeah. So you seek Allah's blessings. Number two, you seek Allah's help. And number three, I mentioned something last time. Who can remember? When you say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, you're seeking Allah's blessings. And you're seeking His help to help you in this thing. There's a third thing we said. Who can remember? Huh? Anusha. Shaitan doesn't come to you. Yes, but there's a, a third thing that I said. When you say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, there's something else. You're doing it in the name of Allah. Is this something good or bad that you're doing? Do you say it with the good things or the bad things? With the good things. Of course with the good things. But it means also you're doing it in the way that pleases Allah. Allah so you're reading Quran, you're reading it in the name of Allah. Does it make sense you're reading Quran in the name of Allah, but you're reading it in a way that doesn't please Allah? Does that make sense? No. No. So you're reading in the name of Allah, you should read it in the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you're eating with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the name of Allah, you should also eat in the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You eat bit by bit, you don't uh, pull the food from your neighbor's uh, side to your side, etc. Right? Okay, that is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inshallah, next Monday, we will move to the next ayah, which is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of all creation. We say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen now, since we are all saved from this hurricane, from the storm, and our masjid is Alhamdulillah protected, and our school is protected, so we have to say Alhamdulillah, right? We have to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen for every blessing that Allah has blessed us with. And we also pray for those who have been affected by the hurricane. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them recovery. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And may Allah give relief to all of the brothers and sisters who are suffering everywhere. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah khairan and run to your class.